Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can you guys hear me? Can I get a thumbs up for that? If you guys can hear me. Brilliant. I see a lot of people on the line again that I know very well by now. Hi, Simon. How are you doing from the other side of the world? Great. Today, we have a great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will introduce to you one of the absolute reasons for us being on this call. I know that this gentleman that is coming on, Mr. Nigel Allen, has been introducing Connect to us. Without him and his connection to it, we would not get this opportunity, okay? So I want you guys to really, really listen in and watch what he will share with you today. He has a long history in networking. I won't spoil it by telling it for him. Nigel, are you with us? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I do. Uh, thank you, Nigel, for being on the call tonight. Oh, it's my pleasure. That is great. Right. Could, you, could you go ahead and tell us who you are? You know, how long have you been in the industry and what brought us to this moment? And obviously tell us what you see in it, because I know you've been very excited about it and for a good reason. Okay, uh, where do I start? Um, at the beginning, I guess, I, I joined this industry in 1985. So it's 37 years now that I've made my living from this industry. But they haven't always been great years. I've, uh, it's been a roller coaster. I've had some successes and I've had some failures. And, um, you know, this is just what we have to do to reach where we need to reach. And um, so I started, uh, some of you may relate to this. I started, I was, I was unemployed at the time and I answered an ad in a local paper because that's how business was done then. And it sounded intriguing. I was invited down to an interview at a hotel in central London. Well, this interview turned out to be a herbal life meeting. And, and it wasn't, it, it was more like a church revival meeting. I thought, what am I walked into? And, uh, you know, they're all having their badges and their banners and going, they were dancing on the seats. And I'm like, I thought I was coming for a job interview. Anyway, so uh, they, they led me down to the front. They sat me at the front and my sponsor, he was an amazing guy. He was um, I, I, long story, but he was just very determined at what he did. Uh, well, actually, I'll tell you why. He is a he was a recovering heroin addict, and so he 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 seemed he had it more drive than most people because he's already tasted rock bottom. That makes sense. You know, a lot of people don't have enough drive because they haven't lost enough. Does that make sense? And so, so he, he, he realized he got nothing left to lose. So he just went for it and, and he was recruiting like crazy. And, and that evening, I mean, this is how good he was um, with following up and callbacks and everything and getting his, his prospects to the meeting. He'd reserved 13 seats on the front two rows. Guess what? All 13 people turned up. Now, if, you can't, if you've been in this industry a while and you know what it's like to invite people to meetings or whatever, and have 13 of them show up, you're good at what you do. <laughs> you know, you invite 13 and maybe you're lucky if one shows, right? That's the way it goes. Anyway, so I sat there kind of bemused by what everything I was hearing, all these testimonials. And, uh, and I, I came to the conclusion, I said, I said to myself, I said, look, this has either got to be the biggest scam in the world or the biggest opportunity in the world. And the only way I'm going to find out is to buy a kit. And in those days, the distributor kit was 25 pounds. So I, I and at that evening, out of the 13, three of us signed up. Um, one dropped out immediately. I, I, I started using the products and there was another girl who stuck around for about six months. So to this day, I, out of those 13 guests, it narrowed down to one who stuck in the industry for 37 years and made it his career. And uh, so, but you know, the, the important thing was I learned so much, I, I earned nothing. I promise you the next two years, I earned nothing in herbal life, but I learned a lot. I, I learned, I didn't earn. And it, it, was, it was like my 
direct sales university. And not, not only that, it was also a kind of coming of age, a rite of passage, because it forced me to grow up very fast. Because when you're, and I'm not, I'm, everyone on this call knows this, when you're in the MLM direct sales industry, call it what you will, um, there's no safety net. No one's going to save you. If you don't do the work, you don't get paid. You, if you don't get paid, you don't eat. And um, so it, it makes you uh, face the mirror. It look, makes you look in the mirror. It makes you look at your own shortcomings and say, you know what? I want a big business. Well, why don't I have a big business? It's because I'm not doing enough work. And it's only that ruthless, rigorous honesty with yourself that's going to get you to the top. Anyway, so that's the, that's the story of how I start. I, and, but here's the other thing. I got a product testimonial. I used it. I felt amazing. I lost a bit of weight. But I, I really I thought, you know what? I don't know if this is drugs, but it feels really good. I really liked these products. And, and, I, and I understood then that, you know, there's lots of things out there, lots of business or opportunities we can all get, especially in the MLM industry and which are money driven and money motivated. But you know what, unless you're focused on the product, you ain't gonna make it, it's short term. If you're only focused on the money, you will not last long. If you're focused on the product, you can build a substantial business. Because if you're focused on the money, you're building on a, uh, you're building a castle on sand. You've got to build it on, a, on believing in a product, whatever that product is. Now in our case, it's notes. In those, in those days, my case was nutritional supplements. Anyway, so long story short, I earned nothing for two years, but it was my, my schooling. And uh, I'll, I'm forever grateful for that. I think one thing I've learned later in life is we are all, and it doesn't matter where you come from, we all look back with terrific fondness at people who have educated us, people who have shown us things that we hadn't, uh, taken us places we haven't been before, shown us things we haven't, uh, weren't aware of, and, and helped to, you know, you look back on your school teachers with some fondness, even the ones you hated, because, you know, they're people who you grew up with that. And so this is all, all part of our, our development as human being. And, and one of the things I've loved about this journey in this industry for the past 37 years is I think it's the single greatest tool and vehicle for personal development I've ever come across. Because as I say, you're forced to, uh, to face your own inadequacies, shortcomings or whatever. You, you can't fake it. You can't just say, oh, I'll wait until Friday comes and I'll get, I'll get paid. I'll, I'll do as little as I can get by and I'll get paid like many can do in a job. It's not like that. Because you're only, you're only stealing from yourself. You're only lying to yourself. Anyway, long story short, I took the knowledge from there and I joined another company. Um, and I felt bad about joining another company at the time because I was, I was, I felt like I was in a cult, right? And, uh, but I joined another company and, and that taught me another lesson. This other company came really easy to me. It, it was like so easy to make money and make it work. And, and part of that I realized was in my own head. Because I thought it was going to be easier, it was easier. And so, uh, and it's not big money by today's standards, but for me, it was big money. I mean, from making zero a month to making like two or three, four thousand dollars a month was amazing. And I actually got my income up to within a year to about uh, twelve thousand dollars a month, and I, I couldn't believe it. I was rich. That was it. You know. Anyway, long story short there, I ended up getting terminated from that company for various reasons that weren't necessarily fair, but we always think it's unfair, don't we? And uh, I went on to do other things. And, and over, the, over the years, I've had some really, you know, very interesting experiences. I've also had some very negative experiences. Um, and uh, I've spent, you know, some of those years. And here's another interesting thing. When I've had bad experiences in the MLM industry or network marketing industry, I often think, okay, well, maybe if I went and did this over here in like a conventional business, it'll be better. And I go there and bang my head against a brick wall for a year or two and realize that I hate conventional business and it's not that easy. And actually MLM and network marketing is probably 
the most predictable business you can do. It's actually very predictable. And it's only the people who don't understand it who think it's not predictable. Once you want it, it's like, if you're gonna go and play basketball or football or any game, you have to learn the rules of the game. Once you understand the rules of the game, you can be successful at it. If you don't understand the rules of the game, you're gonna fail whatever you do. So you have gotta make it your job to learn the rules of the game. And basically it's a numbers game, whichever way you look at it, out of 13, out of probably 150 people he, he pitched, 13 showed up. Out of the 13 that showed up, three signed up. Out of the three that signed up, one stuck around. That it's a numbers game that this is the odds, you know, and if you can go into it with those kind of philosophy, you know, I, I always say that success and your, your, how you, how well you do in this industry is 80% philosophy, your philosophy and only 20% what you do. So you've got to have the right philosophy. You've got to be philosophical. And, you know, you've heard, heard, the, heard the old adage, you know, the SW, SW, SW next, right? Some will, some won't, so what, next. So you don't let, if someone says they're going to join, you, you don't get too excited. If someone says they're not going to join, you don't get too excited. Why? Because you've got to do it again tomorrow anyway. You're going to do it with them or without them. So it's your job just to do it. And so, and, and that's one of the things that when you're early in the business, you, you kind of, you get excited. Oh, so-and-so is going to join. He's going to make me rich. Or, oh, my God, so-and-so didn't join. Oh, my God, my, my, my business is going to fail. Isn't it? Actually, neither of those are true. Um, so you've just got to have the right philosophy. And, and a lot of it is, and, and the other thing is, of course, philosophy is very important when you're in this stage of the business. Now, I will say quite categorically, all of us on this call and all of the thousands of people out there in your teams for the last six or eight weeks has been a very, I'm gonna say it honestly, a very scary time because we've been going through transitions, going through changes, and you don't know whether to believe it. You don't, I mean, because we've all been scammed. We've all been lied to. We've all been told something's happening and it never did. And so when you've got an absence of information and you don't know what's going on, you're in the dark a little bit, your mind plays tricks on you and you, you, you assume the worst. And so the, the best thing, best advice I can give to anyone on this call is, listen, guys, we're nearly there. I mean, literally, we're nearly there. That, but your philosophy during this period is so important to hold your own attitude together and hold the attitude together in your team because they look at you, right? And if your attitude is slipping, theirs will slip. So and ha has anyone here, maybe you can just put your hands up, uh, people here familiar with Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, right? Classic, right? One of the first books I was told to read and I got to face it, the first time I read it, I didn't understand it. And I read it a few times and, and more of it became clear. Now, I'm going to sh just share a, my screen a second. And I'm going to get to the point of this in a second. So you, I hope you'll understand. So uh, do I have to do anything to share my screen now? Or is it? Uh... Yes, Nigel, you can share. Okay, I got, it, I got it. I got it. All right, I got it here. Okay. So there's a, in, there's a story, you know, Think and Grow Rich is about stories, right? And there's a story in, in that called Three Feet from Gold. You may or may not be familiar with it, but it bears repeating. And I, I've highlighted some of these things in yellow just so we can skip through it quickly. So one of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when is, one is overtaken by temporary defeat. So we all do this. Um, and he talks of a, a story of this guy who was in the gold rush days. And he actually says, and this is a lesson in the book as well, he actually went to, to actually mine gold and dig gold, but he didn't realize that the real gold the real, is, is what you get from your mind. It, your mind is what's gonna make you rich, not what you can dig in the earth. But anyway, next, as we go on, he started digging. Um, and after a, a few weeks, he discovered a, gold, a seam of gold. Um, he quietly covered it up and uh, he needed, realized he needed to get some machinery to help him. So he went and mined it 
And the returns showed that he had one of the richest mine, gold mines in Colorado. And he thought, you know, just a few more boxcars or whatever of ore would clear the debts, and then he would just absolutely make a killing in profit. So he, he really went to it, and then something happened. He was digging for gold, and suddenly the vein of gold ore disappeared. He felt he'd come to the end of the rainbow. There was no more gold in there. And so he really didn't know what to do. They were desperately trying to find this vein. And finally, they decided to quit. It's like, OK, we're going to close the mine. We found all the gold there is. We can't find it. He sold the machinery, the mining machinery, to a, a junkyard man. And this guy obviously wasn't, wasn't stupid. He called in a mining engineer. He looked at the mine to do a little calculating. And the engineer advised that the project had failed because the owners were not familiar with fault lines. His calculations showed that the vein would be found just three feet from where the Derbys had stopped drilling. And that's exactly where it was found. And this junkyard man took millions of dollars in all. Now, later, Mr. Darby recouped his loss many times over when he made the discovery that gold, that desire can be transmuted into gold. And what we're talking about here is desire. I mean, yes, with Digger, we're going to have actually a real gold mine and really be um, able to collateralize that gold without digging it up. But really, it's all about the power of your thought that's actually going to make you rich or whatever. And I remember Larry Thompson said something. Larry was a huge influence on me and one of the greatest MLM trainers of all time in Herbalife. And he said, right now, you're as close as you'll ever be to being rich without actually being rich. And I didn't understand what he meant by that. But now I do, because that's where we're at here. Everyone on this call, you're as close as you'll ever be to being rich. I mean, I know some of you already got money, but to being seriously wealthy through this program, then you'll, you're as close as you'll ever be without actually tasting the money. And you need to understand that. This guy lost a huge fortune because he stopped three feet from gold. So let me tell you something. I have a story about me. And <laughs> it, in some ways, it's a bit of a painful story. Uh, it's bittersweet. Because you men, you introduced me and you said, well, you know, it's because of Nigel that we've got the opportunity now with, uh, with, you know, Connect and all of these, these nodes. And that's true. I, I'd made friends with a gentleman called Wright Thurston about five years ago uh, when he was over in Bangkok and we just became really good friends. And uh, when Wright was together with Eric Schiemeyer, who was uh, one of the founders of Zynga. Let me just come off this for a second. I'll go back to my... Uh... Okay, I'm back. So Wright and teamed up with Eric Schiemeyer, who was one of the founders of Zynga. Now, if you know anything about Zynga, which was... Um, uh, what's the famous game? I can't really even remember. I've never played computer games in my life, by the way. Um, Zynga games, what was it? Fa Farmville, right? They, they made millions actually on Facebook through that. And then it was one of the biggest IPOs in history in, in the gaming industry. So Eric and, and Wright got together. Eric wanted to work with Wright's knowledge to put gaming on the blockchain. So they did, and they put together what we now know as Gala. And when that happened, Wright called me up. And he said, look, this is what we're doing. And I said, look, I know nothing about games, but I know somebody who does. Because I honestly, I've never played a computer game in my life, not even on my phone. And I said, look, why don't we get on a call with this guy? And I put him in touch with a company that was just starting to do an MLM business in the gaming area. And they talked and they decided to start. He started selling Gala nodes. Now, I went with, I, I introduced these two people with no ulterior motive. I had no angle saying, you know, I want an override. I want to, I want to find a fee or anything like that. It was like, look, you, you've got some products to sell. This guy's got a, a mechanism to sell them. You should meet each other. Now, as it happens, as a result of that, Wright gave me a, a gala note. I was grateful, but I really didn't think much about it. I'll be really honest. And then in about 
February, the, so this would have been, I'm, I'm guessing, I can't remember, sort of around the middle of 2020. I, I don't remember the exact date. Um, and then around the, eh, actually it wasn't, it was probably more about September, 2020. And then around February this year, 2021, Wright called me up, he said, hey, dude, and that's how he talks. Uh, he said, hey, dude, have you seen what's happened to Gala? I said, no, because honestly, I paid no attention to it. I didn't think of anything of it. And he said, well, do you know what it's worth? I said, no, let me look. And I logged into my Gala page. And I can't remember how many Gala coins I'd mined by this stage, but it's quite a lot. And, he, and I did a quick calculation on my calculator. And I said, oh my God, it's worth $43,000. I thought, this is free money, right? I had, you know, a couple of million dollar coins, which I thought was worth nothing, now worth $43,000. I was like, that's, that's a payday. I didn't do anything for that except introduce two people. So anyway, long story short, um, a couple of months go by, Gala starts climbing a bit. I'm like, really, this is exciting. And... Around, and I'll show you now, let me, actually, I will go back to sharing the screen. This is, I've actually taken some screenshots to show you. This is, what, this is my story here. And this is a story I want you to understand. And then hopefully you're gonna see the opportunity you've got in your hands now. So this is my current gala. In fact, I could probably just show you my login. Okay, so this is Gala, okay? If you log into there, if I go to inventory, it'll show you how many Gala coins I've got right now, 1.5 million. You can see that, everyone, on my screen? You, you, yeah, okay. You can see here in, in what's known as the treasure chest, I've got another 78,000 Gala coins, which haven't yet been converted and added to my Gala um, collection, so to speak, right? And you can also see here a list of Gala distribution rewards. So you can see, for example, um, I'm mining here an average of, let's say, five and a half thousand Gala per day. Does that make sense? This is what I'm getting each day uh, because of this Gala node. So I'm getting about, there you go, look here, 5.64, 5.64, 6.15, 6.28. It varies, but it's around 6,000 gala a day, right? Six, maybe 7,000. Now, I'd, I'd mind a lot more in the beginning, by the way, because of the way the, the mathematics works, you get a lot more coins initially. And as the go, no, nodes uh, go up in price and more people get them, you mine fewer and fewer. So here's a huge opportunity for everyone in this call to be early adopters, okay? So anyway, you see, that's what I'm mining. Uh, Nigel, Nigel, yeah. your screen is not updating. It's not updating. It's still on the on the inventory. I don't know why. Maybe you can stop the sharing and show again. Well, can you? Is share it moving again. now? No. Try try to stop the sharing and and share again, please. I'm oh, sorry. It's something you know. Zoom sometimes. How's that? Now, brilliant. Okay, so what you're seeing here is 78,000 Gala coins that haven't yet been added to my Gala pot, so to speak, right? But you can see also, I don't know if you can see here, the distribution rewards in the treasure chest. Uh, November, 2021, I got 5,600 Gala coins today, 5,646 yesterday, 6,015, uh, et cetera. You can see that, right? Correct, yes. All right, okay. So you're seeing I'm getting an average of about $6,000 a day. Now, let me go back to inventory here. Can you see now what I've got here in my inventory? I've got one and a half million gala on the left, and I've got another 78,000 that I haven't yet added to that inventory. So let's call it 1.6 million just to be, make it round number. And what's the value those of those, Nigel? What's the value of those? Well, hang on. Listen, this is the point where I jump out the window, okay? So let me show you what happened. So that's where I am today, approximately. I took this screenshot an hour or two ago, all right? If I go back to, and I'm gonna show you a withdrawal 
on the, in June 2021, I withdrew $37 million coins. Can you see that? You, got, you see what I'm showing you here? See my mouse? Uh, no. All right, I'll do it this. It doesn't share again for some reason. Okay, so obviously it's a, an issue with me. <clears throat> All right, now can you see? Now, oh, yes. So this is a screenshot. You can see I put it on a Word document. And it shows you that on the, in June 2021, I withdrew 37.7 million dollar coins, right? <laughs> what did you get for them? Okay, that's because I thought it had gone as high as it was going to go. And I... And this is a classic story of three feet from gold. Okay, so the price on that, we go here, I did a screenshot here. On Monday, June 21st, 2021, the price of Gala was 0 0.00892, et cetera, right? You see that? Is yes, not correct. Okay? Yes. Okay, so that, that's when I sold it, 21st of June. And you know what? I was thrilled because if you do the maths here, so that let's just call it 009, okay? So 0.009 times 37 million, I'm rounding it down, right? Equals 333,000. That's how approximately how much money I cashed out. My God, I, what a, an amazing payday. Most people have never seen that money, that kind of money in their life, right? So I, I was happy. And, and, but if you have a look at this screenshot here, I, it would seem to be flatlining at the time, right? You can see that. Now, what happened in September, around 20th September, the price started rising. At, it, at its peak around this period, you can still see my screen. Let's peek around this period here. If I had cashed in my 37 million dollar coins then, I would have made over four million dollars cash. So I'm already ready to slash my wrists because I, 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 <laughs> I sold for 300,000 and it went up another 10x at least. And I could have sold- <laughs> It's, it's worse now, Nigel. What is it now? Uh, okay, so let's look here at, 29th of, of November. Okay, 29th of December, November, the, today, Gala's price was 0 0.71. What's price was it there? 0 0.008 or nine, right? So if we do the same calculation today. About right 30 here, million, so, correct. So on 30, 37 million, I'm being conservative because I had more than that, right? Yeah. So 37 million times 0.71 equals 26 million dollars. I lost 26 million dollars because I quit. I sold my gala three feet from gold. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't be like Nigel. Be smart. Okay. And by the way, I'm just showing you this as well. This is a 180-day chart of Gala. You can see the, the trajectory of it. And here's the 180-day chart of Bitcoin. You see how erratic that is? There's no money in Bitcoin now. Yes, there is, of course. That, that's a stupid statement to say there's no money. But you're not going to see the huge gains in Bitcoin now that you can see in Gala or some of the other projects that we're bringing to market through Connect. This is where the growth is going to be. Projects like this. And I, I predict that every single one of them, Green, Connect, Liberty, Digger, Switch, you name it, Blue, will all follow a very similar trajectory and path. So don't be like me and sell three feet from gold. Right now, everyone on this call has an opportunity to actually make history and become multi multi-millionaires in their first year in network marketing. And I, this, you know, okay, we've all heard these stories about someone who did it in their first year, but I'm telling you that we can make hundreds of millionaires, okay? So let me just come back to 
stop sharing here. So that's why I hope you understand that story of three feet from gold is so appropriate. And, and it's so important, especially during this time, to <clears throat> be patient. Don't do anything around, don't do anything stupid. Oh, I'm gonna quit, connect, you know, this is not happening, they're not delivering my nodes, whatever. I promise you they are. And you are literally three feet from gold right now. Do not quit. We're there. And you know, and it's been tough. How many people here have, know the story of Pete Best? You know, do you know who Pete Best is? Stefan, you know who Pete Best is? Pete Best was the original drummer with the Beatles before yes, Ringo Starr. Yes, Star. now when you say it, yes. He was the drummer with the Beatles for two years. Now, he didn't quit. They, they, they sacked him for whatever reasons, I don't know. But the point is, he, he, he was sacked just before they made it a huge big time. And Ringo Starr became famous and very, very wealthy. And I'll tell you a funny story here. There's a famous interview with John Lennon, where uh, one American journalist says to him, John, do you think that uh, Ringo Starr is the best drummer in the world? You know what he said? He's not even the best drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> but the point is that Ringo Starr became wealthy. Pete Best became nothing. He lost everything, he, had, he made no money. And because he left the band, even though they pushed him out, but he left the band before they made the big time. We are about to make the big, big time. I believe 100%. I know Wright Thurston personally. Um, he's become a good friend over the years. And I'll tell you something else. When I introduced him to this other company, his gaming company, to sell the Gala Nodes, I did it without any anticipation of earning a single penny. He didn't have to give me a node as a reward. He did that out of the goodness of his heart. And had I held on to those coins and not been an idiot and sold them today, I would have near, well, I've got, as you can see, I've got a further 1.6 million, thank God, I've, which is already a million dollars worth. Um, but I would have about $30 million cash in the bank. Now, if you don't think $30 million is life-changing money, then I don't know, I, I can't help you, okay? And what I'm saying to you though, I'm telling this story because this will be the same. We will hear these same stories with green. We'll hear these same stories with blue and connect and switch of people, because I know MLM, I've been in the industry a long time. I know how people think. People, as soon as they get an opportunity to sell their coins, they're gonna sell them because they don't trust. They don't believe. They think it's, oh, no, it's not gonna last, right? It's not gonna last. Those are your famous last words in MLM, especially if they come from your negative brother-in-law, right? Oh, you're not doing that again. It's not gonna last, right? You've heard, all heard those stories. But if, you, if you're one of those people who quits when you're three feet from gold, don't say, I didn't tell you. Don't say you weren't warned. This is gonna happen here. And just because I lost 30 million or didn't make 30 million doesn't stop me because I'm gonna make it next year with these new projects. Green, Switch, Connect, Digger, Liberty, you name it. And here's the good thing. We've got about, ten, not we, Connect has about 10 projects which are all blockchain with a purpose, right? They're all, Oh, they all have the possibility and the opportunity to take the same trajectory as Gala. And especially with what they've learned from Gala, they're going to be able to apply those strategies to make it happen. Okay? I mean, for example, Gala is now on Binance. Binance, which is probably the most powerful exchange in the world, loves Gala. They love Win. They love Connect. So do you think it's going to be an opportunity to get other projects on Binance, once it's on Binance, I promise you, it's, you're, you're minting money yourself. So again, as I'll say as a final wrap up, don't be the one, don't be Pete Best, right? Don't be <laughs> Nigel Allen. Don't be the idiot who sells too soon. 
because you can make this happen, but you've got to keep the faith. That's it. It's all about keeping the faith. And I'll tell you one other thing. With 10 different projects, all very viable blockchain projects, they don't all have to succeed. What if out of the 10, only one succeeds? You're still going to make life-changing money. So I can't even say anything else. I think we are on the verge now of going into orbit. And if God, if Connect as a as a group, and that includes all of us, and and the, the organization in the states, and the, the software programmers, if and the blockchains, if it doesn't do a billion dollars turnover in the next twelve months, I will be extremely surprised. So I, I've got nothing else to tell you, Stefan. I thank you for. N Nigel, don't don't run away yet. Don't right. run away yet. I'm not letting you go yet. This was fantastic, fantastic presentation of what network marketing is, fantastic presentation about the true key of it, because it is truly mathematical. And that is that is the things that when you get that, like you said, you can't quit because you understand it's up to you. It's up to the mirror. It's up to you to get moving. It's up to you to do what, so people follow. Yes. So let me so let me go back to this this predictability. Because it's only people who don't know what they're doing who think it's not predictable. And now I cast my mind back to when I was doing these physical products. And I'm talking about in the 80s and 90s, right? So, you know, I was involved in nutritional supplements. I've done skincare. I've developed skincare lines as well for companies. I've done, I was doing costume jewelry, uh, perfume. I mean, you know, I've, I've done a whole range of different products. But one thing that was, in, interestingly, the product doesn't matter, as long as it's a good product, as long as the price is right and it's a good product, the product doesn't matter. The techniques don't change. The outcome doesn't change. <laughs> exactly. And I, I, I came to the conclusion when I was having my first real success after not making money in Herbalife, that... For every 10 people I recruited, one would become a star. Three would do a little bit, four maybe, five or six would do nothing. Okay? And those odds don't change. doesn't matter what your business is, whether we're selling nodes or perfume or, or, or diet products, the ratios don't change. So if you want to be successful, if you want to have... have one good person, you've got to be prepared to have 10 duds or nine duds, right? Because the fact is, four or five of them, six of them will do absolutely zero. Three or four of them will do it enough. And one will make you a lot of money. So if you want to have 10 people like that, you've got to recruit 100. Simple, simple math, simple ratios. And it's very predictable. I found that when I was recruiting, let's say, so today, this month is November. If I recruited 10 people in the month of November, I would reap the rewards of that in February, not in November. There's always a lag time. And, you know, you hear a lot of people. 90 day cycle, yeah. 90 that. days. You heard it. 90, and guess what? It's not hype. It's actually reality. Our business seems to work in 90-day cycles. And yes, it doesn't it does. matter how, which way you cut it, it's true. 90 days will turn your life around. And if you cannot be consistent and... and it will never happen. Then it's a new 90-day you need to do. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, here's the good news. You can always start a new 90 days today. It doesn't matter if you fail. You can say, oh, it, does, it didn't work. Listen, your story starts whenever you want it to start. Yeah. All right? So, so you can start a new 90 days today. And if you cannot commit to consistency and here's the key word that people forget, and intensity, it's not just consistency, but you can be consistently bad. It's consistency and intensity. If you can commit to 90 days, day in, day out, consistency and intensity, you will be rich. And that's not me hyping you. Those are just the laws of the universe if you have a good opportunity. And I, I don't know what else to say to you now. I think you've had a million dollar training. N Nigel, I have a few questions, but one, one, 
you know, clarification that is so true. You said it so spot on. Just you said that you went popping into other industries in between because I have seen that also personally. And the cool thing is that so many people come and say that, yeah, you know, it's only like 5% in network marketing, you know, that succeeds. And, you know, I always turn back to them and say, yeah, that's brilliant because even, you know, you, you look at normal business, it's similar numbers, but in network marketing, you can choose to be in it. Yeah, and, and, and actually the ratios don't change. You say, well, yeah, people make a lot of money in real estate. Yes, guess what? Only 5% make it. The rest make lose. People make a lot of money in, in selling cars. Yeah, 5% make it. The rest lose, right? The odds don't change. But the good thing about network marketing is you, if you've got a good company, that's important, good company and a good viable product, if you've got those and plan, you've got those things, then it's up to you. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the economy is doing. It doesn't matter what your landlord is doing, you know, because you can own a business and the landlord could put you out of business. It's up to you and it's just a numbers game. Yes, and it doesn't matter what your cross line doing or other parts of the company. Nothing matters. You will make Nothing it. matters. It matters what you get up and do every single day. And you're not competing with anyone. You're just competing with who you were yesterday. As exactly. long as you're better than you were yesterday, that's all that matters. Start your new story today. Start your new 90 days. Doesn't matter that we've had four or five, six weeks of uncertainty because I'm promising you the notes are coming. Tomorrow night, by the way, we've got Stephen Miller on. You need to inform everyone. Tomorrow night, there will not be a regular team call like this. There will be a special invitation only call to handpicked leaders, about 10 of them who speak good English, so they can take good notes. And he will lead them through A, B, C, step by step, how to download the notes, how to set them up, everything they need to know so they can, you know, you heard this expression, cookie cutter, so they can copy it and duplicate it to their teams. So tomorrow night, same time, same. I used to do conference calls, and I'd always end it saying, same bat time, same bat channel. So <laughs> just like Batman, right? So same bat time, same bat channel. We're having a special leaders call, handpicked leaders, and you'll you'll know who you are because you're going to be invited in uh, to be led through the process step by step on setting up your nodes and claiming your nodes and making this thing happen. Because I promise you, once those first leaders start getting them and, and understanding it and being able to show people, because it's tell, show, try, do. You tell people, you show them, you get them to try it until they do it. Once they get, once they start demonstrating, say, hey, look, here's my node, it's working. I promise you, this business will go into orbit and you better hang on to your socks because you're going to be part of the biggest momentum you've ever seen in MLM. Thank you, Nigel. It, this is fantastic. I love it. You know, you put it so spot on what network marketing is. You also gave the people now the history. Why is Gala so intertwined? You, do you guys understand that well, now? Listen, the, the, the point is, I failed. I lost 30 million. Don't be like me. But use it <laughs> yeah. as a lesson to learn from. And he gave it to you. He, I guess. But exactly. you know what? That's also that's also a problem. When you don't work for something, you don't value it. Easy come, easy go. I didn't think anything about it, and you know, I still made a couple of hundred thousand out of it. And so, yes, it's still free money. But now I'm kind of crying in my my breakfast cereal every day. <laughs> but anyway, this year doesn't matter. We're going to repeat it. Green will go bigger than Gala. You know why? More people use electricity than play games. <laughs> yeah, I guess what you needed to play games. <laughs> it's the whole world. So green, if you don't make money out of green, there's going to be one reason. Either you didn't join or you, you didn't hold. You sold it too soon. Thank you, Nigel. So we confirm to them that uh, handpicked leaders, you know who you are. Replacing tomorrow night's tomorrow. regular team call will be a special invitation only call. Yeah. Brilliant, guys. I will not spoil it with saying more. Enough said. If you don't believe it, you don't achieve it. So go out and grab it, guys. Nigel, thank you very much. Love you for what you do. Hang on. And and remember, those last, remember those words of Larry Thompson to me. He said, you're as close as ever that you'll, 
you're as close to being rich as you'll ever be without actually being rich. They, yeah, that's I mean, where that's you are. Actually, that's the good, yes. Correct. 